So far, we've been talking about the size, the shape, and orientation of orbitals. We've been talking about where the, those terms 2s, 4f, uh, 3p, those terms come from. That, so we've been talking about the shape and size of orbitals. What we're going to talk about now is the energy of orbitals. Uh, through the solutions of the Schrodinger equation, one can find the, the energy of the orbital. In this case, this is a constant. EV, it's, the, it's a unit of energy. It's called electron volt, and it's equal to these many joules, a very tiny amount. Um, so this means that the energy of, a, of an orbital only depends on the principal quantum number. So n, so for example, what is n to, in, two, in a 2s orbital, n equals 2. Okay. So this means that the energy of the orbital exclusively in hydrogen exclusively depends on the principal quantum number, on the size of the orbital. So what is more energetic, a 2s or a 2p? Well, we just said that for a 2s, n equals 2, but wait a minute, for 2p, n equals 2 again. So both in hydrogen, and that's important to understand only in hydrogen, we've been talking about only the hydrogen atom, in hydrogen the energy of the 2s and 2p is the same. Those, the, those orbitals have the same energy, so, so an electron can be either in one or the other. So this is the kind of the energetic scheme that you will see for the hydrogen atom, in which the 2s and the 2p are at the same energy. I advance you already that in atoms with more than one electron this will not be the case, but in hydrogen the 3s, 3p, and 3d will have the same energy, and the 4s, 4p, 4d, and 4f will have the same energy. Okay? However, in hydrogen we only have one single electron, okay? So one single electron will always be in the ground state. In the ground, the ground state is the orbital with the lowest energy. So the the orbital with the lowest energy. That's what we call the ground state. So you will see an electron always being, unless we apply some some photons or some some light, that that it will be in the ground state. We will call Degenerate states, um, they're not morally degenerate, they're, they are degenerate states be if the orbitals have the same energy. In this case, we say that this group of orbitals are degenerate because they have the same energy. This degeneration will split, will break in, as we said, in when we have more than one electron, like in helium and you name it, in beryllium, lithium, so car, and so on. Um, so let's run a question here, for example. It, it says that for a hydrogen atom, which electronic transition would result in the emission of a photon with the highest energy? So we're looking for the highest jump. And here it will go from N2 to N3. And here it will go from N2 to N6. And here it will go from N6 to N4. And in here from N7 to n5. Hopefully you can see how I, where I get these numbers. These are the principal quantum numbers and I remind you that all, the energy depends only on that number. So, first of all, it talks about emission. For to emit a photon, the atom must lose energy. So it means it has to go from a higher level to a lower level. These two transitions would imply uh, uh, would imply absorption, not emission, so we can cancel them out. Notice that there is a jump of two levels from six to four, and a, a jump of two levels as well from seven to five. But remember that applying applying this equation, if the energy is it's proportional, this there should be a constant here that's 13.6 electron volts, uh, the higher n, the closer the number, the, the energy will be with each other. So this means that the transition from 6 to 4 will be larger because the numbers are lower. The same way that if, so if we keep adding levels here, the transition from uh, level number 11 to number 10, 
that'll be a smaller transition or from 11 to 9 even though just two energy levels that's very close this from 6 to 4 is a larger transition a larger energetic transition therefore it will emit a photon with a higher energy